Hello, I'm going to tell you a story that's impacted millions worldwide. Although the author's identity is unknown, his ideas are profound. He tells the story of a time lost with a beloved, a regret, maybe a story that will resonate with someone, a chance to fix what's broken before it's too late. I was enthralled with the girl sitting in front of me in English class in ninth grade, she was my best friend, but she didn't know how much I loved her, I hesitated, caught in my own shyness, staring at her smooth hair and wanting her to be mine, she gave me a kiss on the cheek in appreciation when she came up to me after class to ask for notes she had forgotten from a previous lesson, I was so afraid to profess my love in that little moment, yet I longed to do so, her phone call from a broken heart devastated her heart in the 10th grade, I raced over to her side and we cuddled on the couch when I offered comfort, another peck on the cheek signaled to her that I was still feeling things I hadn't expressed, we went to prom together in 11th grade, honoring a long-standing pledge to help one another, even though I wanted more, I acted as her friend and savored every second we had together, her appreciation showed up once more in the form of a cheek kiss, which made my heart ache for more, I realized that time was passing more quickly as graduation day drew near. There was an unstated longing to be with her that lingered in the air when I watched her gracefully ascend to get her diploma. Before everyone dispersed, she approached me in her stunning white ensemble, tears streaming down her cheeks when I enveloped her in a hug, resting her head on my shoulder. She uttered words of gratitude, proclaiming me her best friend before sealing the moment with a kiss on the cheek. Though my heart ached to confess my love, fear held me back, shrouding my feelings in silence. Two years later, a chance encounter in the park brought us together again. Amidst my rush to work, she dashed towards me, embracing me tightly and planting a familiar kiss on my cheek. To her friend, she declared my status as her closest confidant, unknowingly further entwining our destinies. Years passed, marking the day of her wedding as I embarked on a new chapter with another. Despite the passage of time, my heart still yearned for her, a silent longing echoing within. However, as she bid me farewell, Gratitude adorned her words, accompanied by yet another kiss on the cheek, once again, I faltered. Unable to voice the depths of my affection, shackled by my own timidity, when I stood by her coffin, gazing upon the girl who had forever held my heart, the weight of missed opportunities bore down upon me, her diary unveiled the unspoken echoes of my own sentiments, revealing a mutual longing masked by silence and shyness in those pages, she confessed her desire for me, mirroring my own unspoken wishes. The diary served as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of time and the importance of seizing the moment, perhaps, if only one of us had found the courage to speak those three crucial words, our story may have unfolded differently, leading us down a path paved with happiness and love, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, Miranda's beauty was singular, a sight that left onlookers in awe, however, when she wed James, doubts clouded the union. People whispered that her loyalty would waver, that she'd abandon him. James brushed aside the skeptics. However, mere months after exchanging vows, he was blindsided. Miranda's actions surpassed any expectation. At 34, James found himself bewildered, despondent, and gripped by despair. Life had never dealt him a fair hand. Since youth, he'd understood that happiness was fleeting, transient, Challenges were woven into the fabric of existence, his fondest memories from childhood were nights spent under the open sky beside his ailing father, Ronald, despite the bitter cold and lack of comfort, the vast expanse above filled him with a sense of liberation, the stars whispered of possibility, fostering dreams of a brighter future, brief moments of happiness came when he and his father begged by the roadside, some strangers showed unexpected kindness, tossing coins or offering food, however, it wasn't the material sustenance that brought joy, it was the priceless sparkle in his father's eyes, we have enough, Ronald would exclaim, tears of gratitude streaming down his weathered face, we won't go. Hungry tonight or tomorrow, James would promise a better tomorrow, a future where they wouldn't rely on charity. James grew up without his mother, their relationship a distant blur, Ronald and Alice endured a tumultuous decade-long marriage, barren of children. During this time, Ronald weathered Alice's scorn and ridicule for his lack of wealth. In the eleventh year, the marriage fray became unbearable, their long-awaited son's arrival failed to mend the fractures in Ronald and Alice's marriage. If anything, it exacerbated the discord, when James reached a breaking point, Alice lashed out, spewing venomous regret at her husband, she left, condemning their union, branding Ronald a failure. Despite Ronald's pleas and James's tears, 
her departure was final, Ronald spiraled into illness and despair, losing his livelihood, father and son found themselves destitute, relegated to the unforgiving streets, as James matured, he joined his father in toiling in fields and factories, scraping. Together enough to afford shelter, their modest existence brought a semblance of contentment, albeit fleeting, but their reprieve was short-lived, five years later, illness seized Ronald, draining James's savings when he fought desperately to save his father, despite his efforts, Ronald succumbed, leaving James shattered, why did you leave me, James lamented when he cradled his father's lifeless form, I promised to make you wealthy, to grant your every wish, why couldn't you hold on, you've endured so much to perish like this, dad, tears flowed in vain, unable to resurrect the departed, James found himself adrift, haunted by memories of his father in every corner of their modest abode and the streets they once roamed together, he realized it was time to bid farewell to the ghosts of the past and seek solace elsewhere, bracing himself for the uncertain road ahead, little did James anticipate that he would encounter a woman who would stir within him a dangerous and passionate love. Would she deepen his sorrow, or would she alleviate his pain? The unfolding narrative promises to reveal the answer, as events take an even more intriguing and unpredictable turn. Several months into his city life, James secured a five-year contract with a construction firm, affording him a comfortable lifestyle in a decent apartment. Though not wealthy, he found himself at ease. It was during this time that fate intertwined his path with Miranda's. After a taxing day at work, James treated himself to dinner at a nearby restaurant as he entered his gaze gravitated toward an enchanting woman tucked in a corner her glossy skin and velvety eyelashes captivating his attention her azure eyes reminiscent of a tranquil sea met his own momentarily holding him captive before he noticed her sunlit golden hair cascading around her shoulders james found himself spellbound by her beauty his heart skipping a beat when she coyly smiled in his direction an instinctual urge to shield her to unravel her dreams and help them flourish, surged within him, his admiration transcended mere infatuation, he envisioned a future filled with love and adoration, envisioning children with her, when she prepared to leave after her meal, she cast one final glance in his direction, prompting James to seize the opportunity before it slipped away, however, fear and insecurity momentarily paralyzed him, rendering him motionless, he grappled with feelings of inadequacy, doubting his worthiness of such a captivating woman, after agonizing minutes of inner turmoil. He resolved that inaction would be his greatest mistake, braving his trepidation, James hurried out of the restaurant in pursuit of her, his heart pounding with anticipation, to his relief, he found her waiting by a pine tree, as if anticipating his arrival, hi, she greeted him first, her radiant smile showcasing gleaming white teeth, despite James's anticipation of an awkward exchange, their conversation flowed effortlessly, as if they had been destined to meet for centuries, it found out that. She also lived in the vicinity of the location, that evening, James accompanied her to her residence while they walked hand in hand alongside each other, a deep and sensitive kiss was shared between them just before she entered the room, rose petals flavored her lips, which had a calamine pink color, it was in a soft voice that she said, I'm Miranda, to James, you forgot to ask, Miranda, you are my first kiss, James acknowledged, feeling overwhelmed by the situation, do you think it would be possible for us to take things carefully and eventually start a marriage, Miranda, who had been interested in James ever since she first lay eyes on him at the restaurant, was able to perceive the anguish that was visible in his eyes, whenever he made his way into her life, she made a solemn commitment to herself that she would make him happy, it was impossible to contain their love, despite the fact that they had first intended to take things carefully, their love was so intense that they could not stand to be apart for an extended period of time, only a few short months after their initial encounter, they began dating, and a few months after that, Miranda moved in with James, Miranda was grateful for every gesture that James made, despite the fact that he could only afford to present her with a few pleasures on occasion, such as pricey delicacies and exquisite clothing, James made his proposal to Miranda after they had been together for six months, and she enthusiastically accepted his proposal, they got married in front of a few close friends, despite the fact that many of them had doubts about the extent of their love for one another, however, James remained unwavering in his conviction that Miranda was the one for him, despite the fact that his friends cautioned him and warned him that beautiful women were not faithful or loyal for a period of time, 
James and Miranda were ecstatically joyous in their relationship, the happiness they felt, however, was short-lived because James was laid off from his work as a result of the bankruptcy of the company, finally, after a protracted search, he was able to secure a new position, although one that offered a much reduced salary, the couple was forced to relocate to a smaller flat, and James was forced to sell his belongings in order to save enough money to cover their expenses, Miranda remained a rock of support in spite of the difficulties, assuring her husband that they would prevail over the obstacles that they faced. However, there came a time when Miranda was unable to keep her feelings in check any longer, she bemoaned the fact that she hadn't been eating well either, and she asked James for money to repair her broken mirror and comb as he was leaving for work, she made her request with tears in her eyes, James, who was already anxious on account of their current financial condition, became furious, can't you tell that we're having a hard time, tomorrow, I have an interview, and I don't even have any clothing that are up to par, before rushing out of the room, he could be heard yelling, I can hardly afford to fix my wristwatch, the entire day, James was plagued by feelings of guilt since he had yelled at Miranda, after a long day at work, he went out and bought a large mirror and comb for his wife, he was so determined to set things right that he sold his damaged wristwatch, on the other hand, when he got back to his house, he was confronted with a stunning sight, Miranda had cut her long hair. Significantly shorter, what happened to your long hair, James asked in a stuttering manner, bewildered, Miranda flashed a wide smile and disclosed that she had successfully sold it, after that, she gave James a bag that included an expensive shirt, trousers, and a brand watch, and she explained that she had sold her hair in order to purchase these items for him, I love you too, James muttered to her as they had a private moment together, he was overcome by the sacrifice that she had made, after two months had passed, James was informed that he had been successful in securing a managerial post as a result of the interview, in addition to a large house and a car, the employment also provided a number of perks, James was overjoyed and informed Miranda of the news, which she then proceeded to disclose, stating that she was two months pregnant, a double celebration was taking place, Miranda was able to get anything she wanted from James since he was so overwhelmed with appreciation, your love. That's all I could ever ask for, she said in a reaction that was both straightforward and emotional, when they kissed, it became clear that their love had persisted despite the challenges they faced, their narrative serves as a lesson that genuine love triumphs over any challenge that may be encountered, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.